that one certainly strikes me as being very appropriate to debut. The only tricky thing really with that, obviously the rhythms are a little bit, um, a little bit syncopated, a little bit off the beat in places, but it's obviously an extremely well-known song and if you haven't heard it then obviously get to know it and you'll get to know those rhythms very nicely. Um, right at the beginning of course the chords are supporting the cross string idea so I think you could play those really quite gently and sympathetically to make sure that those those notes keep ringing through. Um, obviously when you're being um, assessed on a part in an exam when you're playing something that is supportive of another part still be audible um, but equally make sure you're kind of uh, respecting the more important part and make sure that it's kind of really nice and clear. So yeah, main thing with this one playing the tune it's just the, the, the counting, the waiting, um, sustaining the long notes where they're actually marked to in the in the notation. So for example once you've done that one it actually lasts you know for five beats so you keep your finger on and make sure it keeps going there. Um, you might have noticed I did a bit of vibrato at one point, obviously you're not expected to do things like that at, uh, at debut. Don't worry if you can do a bit of vibrato then do it, but it's certainly not expected. So that was the other part for Chasing Cars.